guys might think I'm a little crazy after you hear what I have to say, but towards the end of this video, it will all make sense. And trust me, this is gonna help you train your dog. This game is called the Collar Grab Game. And before I begin, I wanna point a few things out. Notice how I said game. You may be wondering, why am I playing a game with my dog? I just wanted to train my dog. And the reason is, is that other reinforcement game-based training, the easiest way to train your dog, and this just makes their training into a game. They learn so much faster, you guys. So I am going to share what I have learned works best for me because I want you to have the same success I have had in training my dogs. Okay, and I hope you subscribe and hit that bell so that you can learn more of these awesome games that I'm gonna share with you. With all that said, let's get to it. Before we begin, you are gonna want to get a good pile of tasty treats that your dog loves. So you'll want to make sure these are small though. They're gonna be so small they're gonna be about the size of a pea. This is about the right size for a training treat for any dog. If you have to cut them up beforehand, that is good, do that, because you don't wanna be sitting there trying to break treats in half and all that before while your dog is waiting on you to give them a treat. That just makes the training process go slower and your dog learn much slower that way. You'll want to start by finding a room with little to no distractions so that it is easy for your dog to learn. All right, if you got all that, then it is time to begin. Simply start by grabbing your dog's collar, cookie. saying cookie, and then giving your dog one of his treats. You may be thinking, wait, hold up a second. I'm just basically feeding my dog treats. And yes, in your eyes, it may seem like that, but if you put yourself in your dog's mind, he's probably thinking right now something like, oh man, I just got a cookie when my person grabbed my collar. I love this game. I'm gonna let my person grab my collar all the time. So not only are you building reinforcement for being with you, but you're also building reinforcement for grabbing your dog's collar. This is gonna come in handy later on. Anyways, I want you to practice this many, 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 many times. And in between reps, you should be moving Cookie. around to show your dog that you can grab his collar in any place and good things come from it. Cookie. After this first session, I want you to first smile because you just taught your dog the first foundation to a good relationship. After that, I want you to start a dog training journal. And in that journal, every time you train your dog, you're gonna write down what you learned, how far your dog got, what your goal is for the next session and your dog's emotion throughout the whole entire session. Was he happy? Was he a little confused? Write all of those things down so that you know what you need to work on next time. Here's another tip. You should be filming your training sessions so that you can go back and watch your dog's behavior and even yours. Yes, even yours, because we can improve our mechanics if we just observe what we did. The third thing I want you to do is go and randomly throughout the day around your house, grab your dog's collar and practice these same steps. Say cookie and give him his treat so that he learns that any time of the day he can earn a reward for you grabbing his collar. This will help him generalize it much faster. And also you'll want to set up a training session to practice the collar grab game every single day until the next video in this series is out. And then I'll have something new for you guys. Have a wonderful day and I will see you in the next video.